These are the largest cars in the whole world. And we gotta start with this beast. This high-end car kinda looks like a jet. With one door on one side and two doors on the other, this unique car has what's called a diamond design, which by the way was inspired by a falcon. Yeah, a falcon. And of course, it's beautiful interior. Regarding customizations, uh, we can both in exterior and interior design introduce several adjustments. And to make things even crazier, this car also becomes bulletproof. <laughs> Now, before you start buying it immediately, there is just one small issue. Starting price is uh, $1,085,000 US dollars. We can move up to $3,800,000 according to the content that this vehicle will uh, perform. Man, that's more expensive than a house. Speaking of houses, what if I tell you there's a way you can travel worldwide and not feel homesick at the same time? This is the world's fastest shed. It's an idea I came up with, so I built it, got it all fully approved and road legal. This is a shed, which can move places literally. But apart from the fact that it's a literal shed, the owner took this one step further. I got into the racing events, the top speed events, and I travel all over the country racing it. He races with it, with a shed. Now that's some next level shit. But you know what's even bigger and better is the biggest car you'll ever see later. But first, check this out. This is probably the weirdest car I've ever seen in my life. This is a three-wheeler car. This dynamic, maximum tension car is one of a kind. Well, duh. There are only three made in this world. And I don't know why, but I thank God for that. Anywho, what's bigger than that is this beast right here. This is the futuristic, highly mobile, armored vehicle. It's capable of seating six people, and it's bulletproof. Imagine traveling in this to a grocery store. Why do I feel like the store will give you groceries for free? But what's even cooler than that is this. This is the world's fastest limousine. According to Global Motors, it might even break the 300 mile an hour speed limit. So yeah, it's fast. It can seat up to six and has no roof. Perfect, perfect. But not as perfect as this. This is the Superbus 800, a high-speed electric limo car capable of going up to 250 miles an hour with 23 passengers on board. 23, that's like two football teams. This 15 meter long car was created in a university in the Netherlands. And to make things even crazier, it has 16 doors. So in case your door doesn't open, well, maybe the car must be locked. So the other 15 probably won't open either. Anywho, this is the double wide limo. It's two and a half times as wide as a regular car and 30 feet in length. But the best part about this car is this, the volleyball court, guys. You know, obviously. But look, we've now reached the top three biggest cars in this video. So things are gonna get to a whole new level. Like this car. This is the world's largest monster truck. The Sin City Hustler is 32 feet long and 19 feet in height. The total cost to build was about a million dollars, but the way this was built was the coolest. The inspiration behind building the monster truck, well, a lot of it actually just comes from our race experience. We took a lot of the components of a race truck. We found this ginormous limo and it all started from there. It took them 15 months to build. But looking at it, I guess it was worth it. It can even do the crab walk. Yeah, I don't know about you, but that's f***ing amazing. But at number two, things get even crazier, because this is the world's largest Ferrari F40. This 35-foot-long prancing horse is one of a kind. With 10 wheels, a full metal body, it makes all other sports cars look like it's b****. It can seat eight people at once. I mean, seriously, when was the last time you saw a Ferrari seating any more than two people? Yeah, well, this limo is still cool. It comes with a V6 engine, which if you know about the F40, isn't the standard engine that comes with it. And frankly, even I don't know why they downgraded it. Still, I don't know, it's awesome. But now, out of all the cars shown earlier in this video, here's the largest car you'll ever see. Well, can we even say it's a car? This 
is the Lark LX Mega Car. It's 62 feet long, 26 feet wide, and about 20 feet high. So yeah, it's big. It weighs about 110 tons. Its tires, nine feet tall, and each of those is powered by its own six-cylinder engine. Let me say that again. Each tire has its own engine. <laughs> It can carry about 200 people at once. <laughs> now that's cool. But even after all that, the most interesting thing about it is why it was made. The Lark LX was used to transport tracked vehicles, including beach preparation equipment and general cargo from ship to shore or to inland transfer points. It can also transport 40-foot shipping containers, which could be landed from the Lark either by crane, straddle carriers, or rollers. It was the only amphibious vehicle in the US capable of landing on a beach through surf. The first Lark made its maiden voyage in 1952 at Washington. It first saw active service in 1967 when they were dispatched to South Vietnam to support the 101st Airborne Division, and in 1968, the 1st Cavalry Division. But since it's now basically ancient, the last Lark LX vehicles were retired from service in 2001. However, a few still remain active, performing specialty roles, including two operating out of Montross and Tappahannock in Virginia in the US. Man, imagine you see this going through your street. Comment below what will be your first reaction to seeing it. I wish there were more cars like these.